Hey everybody, it's your girl Ania Love and I am here with the beautiful, talented, funny, awesome Tiffany Bacon. Hello. Hi, honey. How are you? Breathing on schedule. Thank you. Oh, How my God. Now, see, I didn't expect <laughs> to see her today, so I'm kind of, like, geeked up. I'm trying not to be, like, geeked up, but I'm so happy to see her <laughs> for a number of reasons. But the reason why we are here is because she is in a play called Japanese Asteroids. So let the people know what your character is and what you got going on. Yes, so I play the character of Snow, and she's, like an earth mother. She is like uh, the seed of wisdom, the all knowledge, all loving, all caring, okay. all, not all knowing, but all loving, all caring, okay. all emotional and It kind of sounds like you're a real wife. I don't know, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I can be storm, <laughs> but sometimes I can be snow. <laughs> She's really a sweetheart. So yeah. how did you become a part of this production? Uh, actually, Tony was telling me about it, and he just asked me, did I want to play a role? And I was like, you know, I support you, man. Oh, wow. Oh, what you got? Right. What you talk about? Yeah. Everybody loves Tony, man. Everybody loves Tony, man. So, for you, how was it coming into this, reading the script, mm -hmm. and knowing that sci-fi is not something that, that we're normally a part of? Right, not not on stage. It was definitely different, and I was I, I definitely came into it with an open mind. I was just trying to not try to figure everything out, but I was trying to remain open and let the story speak to me. So each rehearsal, like I, I get mm -hmm. more and more, um, and I just think it's a pretty innovative idea because when I tell people about it, I say, yeah, it's science fiction. Right, really. And I'm kind of like, <laughs> I'm kind of like taking it back, like what? Really? Yeah. And it shouldn't be like that, though. Right. But like, I mean, you know. But it is, so we just have to make the best of it. Mm -hmm. So what would you tell people to get them to come out and support this play? Well, I mean, here's an opportunity to check out something that is uh, new. And it's a really big cast. Everybody gets along really well. Like, a, there's a lot of really cool scenes where you can just, like, see people really going in um, to character. And it's an interesting way to tell an autobiographical story. Right. So, you know, a lot, you know, we're used to biopics, you know, and it's like, oh yeah, you know, new edition story, but it's not, it's told like in linear story fashion. And right. this is not, this has a lot of creative license. So if you can really get into things that are creative and just like kind of open your mind to a new type of experience, then I say, come on out and check us out on Memorial Day. I think that was the best way that she can tell you to come on out and support this play. <laughs> Tiffany, I need for you to tell everybody how they can find you. Oh, yeah, you can find me on the book, Facebook, Tiffany Baker Radio Personality. Also, I'm Groove City Lady on Twitter. You can find me in Groove City Lady on Instagram. And you can check out my blog, GrooveCityLady.com. And she is a Groove City Lady. So you guys need to come check out Snow. It's May 29th, Japanese Asteroids at the Prince Theater. Come check out our awesome production with an awesome group of people. Yay. Can't wait to see it. We'll see you guys then. See ya.